Hey everybody, this is Rex at Watson's Marine. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit uh, today about spoons, spoon fishing. Uh, kind of an overlooked little deal. Uh, I know early on in my fishing, I was always intimidated by, by a spoon uh, on how to fish it, where to fish it, but it's just like everything else. It, it has its application, it has its time. And uh, with the electronics that are available today, kind of cuts down the aspect of searching for fish with with uh, uh, to use these these this type of presentation. But spoons are something that literally you can catch them on year round. Uh, it's primarily a deep water bait. There's applications where you can catch them uh, on spoons in shallow water, and I, I don't have any at this particular time. But there's even spoons that are made for fishing grass and fishing shallow, uh, like the Johnson top spoons. But uh, primarily in our area, the spoon is made for deep water fishing. And so with, with that being said, uh, one of the most popular things to come about in bass fishing in the last, gosh, 20 years for deep water structured fishing, and I know on this particular one, I believe the gentleman's name was Kelly Jordan. I watched on a, on a television show years ago and uh, had never seen this, had never heard of it, had never talked to any of my buddies or anybody had ever done it. But in this one television show, he kind of shined a light that I know a lot of those guys probably had secret for a long time. But anyway, flutter spin. And this particular one was one of the very first ones and remains to this day to be one of the best, best ones. Flutter Spoons, this is my favorite. Uh, it's a five and a half inch model. It's made by Nickel Spoons uh, or Lake Fork Tackle. It's who it's marketed under. Uh, absolutely a fish catching deal. I mean, it uh, kind of a post spawn type deal in those bass. And when they start uh, moving back into deeper water off the drops and ledges, uh, this bait is a fish catcher. And uh, uh, there's several different models of this thing. This particular size was basically one of the first ones that I ever saw. And, and then it kind of graduated up. You started, you started seeing bigger sizes of it. Now, once you get into fishing these really bigger baits it's 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 not the easiest thing to fish uh, it's pretty intensive fishing you're, you're casting this bait out it's, as you can see this particular one this is an eight inch spoon uh, it's pretty heavy so you're casting this thing out and and you're you're letting it exactly what it says you're letting it flutter down and then when that bait gets to the bottom or to your desired depth you're going to rip that bait back up with your rod and then let it fall on the slack line again. Well, doing that with this spoon is fun. It's not that big of a deal. Doing that with this baby is work. I mean, so you have to have kind of some specialized rods and uh, even your reel a little bit to, to assist in fishing these bigger type spoons. But make no mistake, folks look at these and you think, my gosh, what kind of fish are you going to catch on these? You'd be surprised. You're going to catch bass. Largemouth and smallmouth bass will bite these baits. Uh, but the flutter spoon is just something, and it keeps changing. And it's gotten into even this particular one. Uh, River to Sea brought this out. This is uh, the the worldwide spoon. I believe this was a particular one was uh, designed by uh, James Watson. This spoon has really caught on in our area. Fishing around marinas, boat docks, points, even bluffs. Uh, this spoon has a kind of a different fall to it uh, and it has a has a little stinger hook rig at the top. Uh, can't say enough. Can't say enough. All these flutter spoons have their applications in their time and all of them work really well. Uh, so you've got jigging spoons. What I've always referred to as a jigging spoon. And, and this is the kind of spoon that I really first started fishing uh, with a Hopkins spoon. Mo this particular one's a quarter ounce. Most of what I've fished over the years has been a half to a one ounce 
uh, for fish in deeper water. And I know this particular deal, uh, even summer and winter, one of the best places to throw this, these spoons like this is around bridge columns. Bridge columns hold fish year round. Most of them do. And this this little this little spoon when you when you cast this thing out and it's just falling down, it looks like an injured bait fish falling. And bass, stripers, crappie, everything's always looking for an easy meal. So uh, that particular one, the 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 Hopkins, we've got uh, the berry spoon, great little spoon. Uh, you can kind of bend it. You can give it a little bit different flutter as it's falling. Uh, Cotton Cordell uh, also makes a little jigging type spoon. Great little spoon. Uh, War Eagle. This one's real popular in our area. Uh, all these little jigging spoons like this, same application. Boat docks, uh, marinas, bridge columns. Uh, you can catch walleye on them, bass, crappie. Everything that swims will bite one of these spoons. And then you move in to uh, what's popularly referred to as a bladed bait. And I know uh, there's there was one around, it's still around, they still make it, it still catches fish called a silver buddy. Uh, and it's just a blade with lead poured on it and it's kind of in the shape of a minnow. And that silver buddy, golly, it's 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 such a great little bait to fish. You can you can cast it, you can work it out off points, you can vertically fish it. One of the hottest changes to that bait has been the Mickey Vault. The Demiki Vault, this little bait, you can vertically fish it. You can get over top of fish, the school of fish on and looking at them with your depth finder, you can drop this bait to them just working it up and down and this lead the way it's poured it, it kind of gives it a swimming vibrating action uh, or you can stand back and cast this thing out on points ledges drops and and you, you just you're going to let this bait just kind of fall and when you, when you pull on this bait when you pick up on it you'll feel just a real quick tight vibration then you're going to let it fall pick it up let it vibrate let it fall and then there's even another way to fish it. You can fish this like a crankbait. You can cast this bait out and just kind of just wind it enough just to where you can just feel it, just a little bit of a walking, vibrating, swimming action to it. So, the Mickey Vault. In the last 10 years, this little dude right here has really come to our to life in our area. Along with, the Mickey makes some great little baits we've talked about. Uh, the armor shad that the Mickey make, uh, makes, this is another deal that they make that's kind of kind of in a class of its own. Uh, but uh, lots of different variations in spoons. Uh, real popular in our area. We've got a lot of clear water, so that's where this this particular technique excels. So uh, come up anytime you want. Uh, me or any of the guys here can answer your questions and kind of show you a little bit even like what size line you want to fish them on, uh, what rod's the best for it, and uh, just like I said, uh, you can make it as easy or as hard as you want it to be, but all of them will work. But anyway, you have questions, come see us up here at Watson's Marine and we'll try to take you on a little bit of spoon fishing adventure.